there, boys and girls. Happy Monday. What's up, my beavers? How is everyone today? I'm in a classroom today, um, video making this video with some helpers, and they're going to help me in a little bit. But I do have some announcements that I need to make. But first, I need to hear my helpers give a big, big cheer for all their teachers. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> So I do have some announcements for you, for you all today, um, some some new announcements and then some kind of um, announcements from last week. So they're not new, but but they're they're but I still need to make sure that we are all aware. All right. So um, this week uh, we're going to have a minimum day on Tuesday. So Tuesday is a minimum day. Um, wait, what's that I hear? It's a minimum day on Tuesday. So that means that if it's a minimum day, school ends at 1 p.m., okay? <clears throat> and we, we originally had a, one, one, a minimum day for open house, uh, but because the health department has placed an order on our school to not gather, not have public gatherings, we've had to postpone or cancel a lot of, of our public things. And so... Um, so what we what we will do is you know we'll we'll keep keep moving and then wait for this outbreak to end and then we can we can start again with the normal things that we're used to doing okay so um so on so on tuesday there will be no open house but it will still be a minimum day so it will school will still end at one o'clock and your parents will come to get you at that time or you'll end up going to rap or or kids club or after school uh, you know after school play uh um for uh, at one o'clock um but um yeah there will no be op there will not be uh, open house um another thing that you need to know about wait, we also uh, were scheduled to have our awards assemblies and our uh, attendance luncheons. Uh, but again, because of the Long Beach Health Department asking us to not gather publicly while we have this virus outbreak, uh, we'll have, we have to postpone those or, or save those for a different day, okay? Some of you have been asking, you know, what's happening, Mr. Vieira? Why are we quarantined? Or, you know, are we, um, are we super contagious? And so I will tell you, no, we, nobody's quarantined because if you were quarantined, you wouldn't be at school, okay? But we do have to follow these very strict procedures of staying uh, what, what's called cohorted. And a cohort is just a group. It's just another word for saying group. Um, and so we're staying cohorted by class, so we're not spreading that virus. And so we want to make sure that we, you know, we're 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 taking care of you, and that, um, and we're taking care of each other. One way to take care of one another is to wash our hands. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. Uh, washing your hands really um, prevents the spread of the disease. Believe it or not. So, you know, when you go to the bathroom, wash your hands, use soap, make sure that you're not keeping, um, uh, that you're not uh, uh, carrying your germies with you, that those we get away, get away with and um, we, we wash our hands, okay? And then um, the final comment that I want to make is about um, the checkout ball the playground equipment checkout procedures that's new we've been talking a little bit about that um, and so miss Jackson has a plan for all students in first second third fourth and fifth grade to earn ball passes every day to go to the ball shed and get a ball and so the way that we're going to do that is by um, uh, the rec team and I are looking for our uh, our friends who are um, who are uh, doing a spectacular job out on the playground and were able to uh, earn a ball pass. And so we'll have several of those to give out, a good handful of those um, ball passes. And of course, you can share the ball with 
with with I want you we want you to share the ball with your friends right we want you to be inclusive um, but we are going to expect you to continue to be respectful and respect the equipment and part of taking care of our campus is by respecting the equipment so those are all things that we'll be doing and um, and you'll be learning more about those this coming up week all right well I'm, I'm noticing that um, you're all making great progress on your iReadies, and I am so, so proud of you all for the hard work you're putting in. Some of you are doing PSAs. Man, you are going, you are just incredible. You're doing some amazing work. Keep at it. Um, I am so proud of you, and I'm so glad that you are the beavers. Okay, my friends, and um, third graders, I'm speaking to you, so I want you to pay close attention right now. I need you to stop what you are doing. I need you to look at the video and look at what I'm, listen to what I'm about to tell you. I'm understanding that you're bringing a lot of items to school that don't belong at school. Um, and so your teachers have made a plan to collect any items that don't belong at school and place them in a June box. What I mean by that is that, that those items in that box will not be opened until June. Um, the only way that you can receive those items before June is if your parent comes, comes to the classroom, has a conversation with your teacher, and collects those items to not be seen again. Do you understand what we're saying? So please bring to school all the items that uh, any items that are that are school related right no no um, uh, items right like no toys no Pokemon cards no like no candy none of those things that don't belong at school um, as a matter of fact your teachers already have everything that you need in your classroom so you really don't need to bring anything but your backpack and perhaps notebooks or um, those learning materials that um, your teacher has given you to put in your backpack or, or that you have brought from home that uh, are allowed to be uh, part of school, right? The teacher has requested those kinds of things, but not anything extra. And again, so, so you know that if you bring those things to school, then your teachers are going to hold on to them and, and you'll get them back in June or if your parent comes to collect them, but they're not to be brought back. Got it? Good.